Good morning. How do you get better at golf? Well, your best drive is in the fairway. Your best iron is on the green. Your best putt is in the hole. So you're not going to improve that. What you've got to do is to take your worst shot and bring it closer to your best shot. That's how you get better. So now your bad shot is actually in play and usable somewhere on the golf course rather than lost or off the golf course. Now my bad shot is from 30 to 60 yards. That sounds ridiculous for a six handicap. How can you be bad when you're close to the green? Now if I'm chipping, I'm fine. I know how to set up to the ball. But when I'm on the short grass, I'm not. Am I standing open? What's my ball position? Am I leaning into it like you would do with a chip? I'm completely clueless. That's why my distance control is awful. I hit it thin, I hit it fat, it goes anywhere except on the green out there where it's usable. Most of my pitching is not usable. So I'm here at the Herefordshire, I'm having a lesson with James. Let's do a before and an after. So before James gets down here, let's drop some balls, have a go, see if we can see why it's so bad, have the lesson, and then we'll do an after. So this is my pre-lesson warm-up. I don't really know what I'm doing, other than I want it to be shorter and more in control. See, when you're in the rough, you make a longer swing because you've got that cushion of grass between the ball and the club. But when you're on the short grass, there's no real forgiveness there. It's got to be ball turf instead of my <coughs> turf ball or occasionally no turf at all. Wish I could show you where I'm landing these, but they're basically going all over the place, including thin ones like that. It's not very pretty. But I recorded part of my lesson because I want to keep it for myself and I thought, why don't I show you anyway? There might be something there that's useful to you as well as myself. A mixed bag of rubbish. Now you know why I lay back on par fives and give myself a full pitching wedge in. I'm hopeless from here. Well I'm about 20 minutes in. What we're trying to do is get the ball position correct, get my weight distribution correct, but essentially slow down this backswing so I can control the length of it and then I can control the length of the follow-through and I'm just actually starting to collect the ball properly and they start hitting the damn green. Let's have a look. Okay, so, oh, here's a bit. <laughs> We've got blue, yellow, flag, orange. Yes. Okay, you just about made them out. So, what I effectively want you to do is not change the technique, because we want to keep yeah. the same technique for simplicity, but we want to just change the length of backswing yep. by the pace of the backswing. Well, where do you want me to go? So, what we're going to do is we're going to just go on what you do. So what I mean by that is I want you to think, if I go slow, if I go to, I don't know, knee, yeah. it might go to yellow. But then okay. we know how far that then goes. Okay, so the, the poles are there just for reference. Right, so rather than target. Lean into it and... Good. So nice and smooth. Almost a bit thin. Okay. I need a better line. <laughs> yeah, probably, probably a six inches of rough, I'm fine. You're fine. Good. 
Great contact. Good right. Yep. Range ball. Right, so I've got to add 10% with it. Those ones are turning back. Not all lessons are plain sailing. Please observe. Okay, interesting. So that one is very much back nicely, and then we were here, right, which was brown first. So we've just got to keep that low follow through in mind. There we go. So you know I said earlier that I was going to challenge you by changing your perception of where we're looking. Yeah. Okay. I'm actually going to use that lovely clump of mud on that golf ball. <laughs> Don't as, you ever watch these? <laughs> as a reference point. There we go. Believe it or not, Tuesday is a wash day. <laughs> I want you to think you're looking at that mud. Okay, so we're, we're effectively looking in front of the ball. Right. To help with low point. Good. Very good. Okay. Tremendous. Yeah, funny enough, they go through the jet wash on a Tuesday afternoon. But the kids on Saturday, they were uh, plugging everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's been a bit of a challenge for green keepers the last uh, couple of weeks. Oh. Well, the, right. boys, the boys put on the group chat this morning, we've had 176 mil of rain this month. Good grief. Good. Brilliant. So those last three, really nice. Yeah. So, now if we were going to use the sticks yeah. as a target, let's see what we do. So, so we've got one, two, three, four. So we're going to hit four shots. Effectively trying the same technique, but just slowing the length of backswing down to then determine distance. So which one do you want me to go to? We'll That's go blue, blue first. Blue first, so this so is a rough, short Roughly one. about 15 yards. Wrong ball. Right, 15 yards. Well, I'm definitely thinking of opening the face a little bit. Okay. That's it? Good. And just nice and smooth. Again, just thinking about that spot in front of the ball. Lovely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me that switched on. It is. <laughs> Great. It's not pointing that way. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Good shot. Right. That, that was more of a greenside chip, chip. so yeah. it was it was easier for so me what, to think about. What I'm hoping, and this is this is a horrible thought from a coach, is if there are going to be any mistakes, it's going to be the later ones. Yeah. Because that's the ones that we're we're sort of working on. So we're now going to go to yellow, which is effectively the red. Yeah. Okay. So. So again, length of backswing, same setup and technique, less wrist. Good, and then low follow low, through. Low follow through. Thinking about that spot just after the ball, that's it. That's it. Good rehearsal. My mind is not on the job. No. There we go. Okay, and again, take your time. Let's go through it again. Let's go back and then walk into it. Let's see what we do. So, wait forwards. Good. So, a little bit more weight on the left. Good. Better. Better distance. Can I? Yep. Now let's go white flag again. White flag. We're pushing up towards That's 40. Like 40 yards. Just probably roll sensible. the mud over probably the other sensible. side. <laughs> right, 40 yards. Lovely. 
lovely tempo, good low position through the shot. Good. And then we're going to go orange. Sorry. Yeah, orange. Right on, the, on the, off the, bank, the, back. the back. So now we're up to 45. So I'm, I'm going to play this squarer. Yep. Good. Same technique though. Still keeping that weight forwards. Wrists a little bit more quiet. Low follow through. Low follow through. Oh, nearly. Just got it ever so slightly, so slightly on the up. up. Yeah. I should really get my pro views from the tube in the car, shouldn't I, Phyllis? Well, I, I started collecting them out of the woods. Okay. If they were a bit tired, yeah. they went straight into the bag. Lesson over, I got my own balls out and now I'm flying solo. So the stance is reasonable, it's not narrow, it's not wide. The ball's just behind the middle, although it doesn't look it there. And the whole idea is to have a slow backswing so I can control the length. And then I'm looking down the left hand side of the ball because that's where I want my club to catch the ground. That may have been a little early but this is early days. Now I'm not going to labour on showing you too many shots, you've seen the lesson, you know what I've got to do. So now it's just a question of me applying myself. And most certainly, the bad shot isn't as bad as it used to be. And that's how we get better at golf. Just looking at this now, I think it's fair to say that I am picking up the club too quickly already. Only a few minutes out of the lesson and I'm reverting to type. So I'm very glad that I record a lesson occasionally because now I can see the difference between supervised practice and doing it on my own. But it is better. Well, job done. Got a few things to work on there, as you can see. Getting my weight distribution right, the ball position right. Two key things for me is coming back slowly and then following through low. But the other thing is when I look at the golf ball, when I'm looking down on the ball, I got to look at the front of the ball, not the back of the ball. So I'm trying to get my sand wedge to hit the ground after the ball. So I'm using the left eye to look down the left side of the ball. Now it's work in progress, it's not going to be perfect overnight, but I do feel like I know what I'm doing now. And now I've got that, then I can bring my bad shot closer to my good shot. Cheerio!